A couple of weeks ago, I received a letter in the mail from the California Department of Fish and Wildlife notifying me that I drew a tag to hunt the elusive Rio Grande turkey at Lake Sonoma, California. This is not a guided hunt. The land is owned by the Army Corps of Engineers and I've never stepped foot on it. The tag allows for a plus one, so I'm bringing my buddy and fellow hunter, Alex. We'll push our luck on this two-day hunt and hopefully have a successful weekend first. general vicinity now um, going up some windy roads oh shit there's a deer this looks like country I feel like that we would see turkey for sure first turkey hunt first one we're off we got some rain we're losing some light hopefully tomorrow we'll be seeing turkey yeah I brought my thermos too lightweight thermos yeah. shit we gotta go up we just went up a, a hill that we're not too happy about. So we woke up, made some breakfast. Filming my own hunt is proving to be just as difficult as learning how to call turkeys. Alex had it. <laughs> Alex had his turkey call. Since those guys pulled up, they don't know we're here. What's funny is <clears throat> me and Alex have never hunted turkey. <laughs> We've only watched people hunt turkey on YouTube. But right now we can watch people hunt firsthand. We can see what their strategy is, compare it to what we're doing. I'm surprised they hadn't seen our decoy out there. <laughs> Alex just said there's another one. Oh my god. Two boats. This is hilarious. Legal hunting hours for turkey in California end at 5 p.m., so we decide to pack up our gear and spend the night at the truck and try our luck tomorrow on the other side of the ridge. I feel like I'm in good shape going into this, but I worked out uh, really hard this week and actually ended up sore coming into this trip. Also sprints and tire flips and stuff. It's funny because you do all these 
uh, training for fighting and stuff, but with fighting, you know when to taper off in your, your training camp. You give yourself a week to recover or whatnot. But with this, when you're going every weekend, you can't really do that, so you have to end up climbing these hills and mountains by your store. We've been going at it since 6 a.m. this morning. We just passed 6 p.m. Lost sight of our gobbler, or lost sound of our gobbler. Now it's back to just kind of square one. And we're back on the road. That's a wrap for 2018 turkey draw hunt. Hopefully there's next year. We see a hen right back there. First turkey of the weekend as we're on the road about a couple hundred yards or so from the truck. Right in there. That somehow both makes me mad but also makes me happy. Mad that we just now see one when it's over, and, but at least we saw something. I actually laid my eyes on a turkey this weekend. I won't be coming out of here with meat for the freezer, but I will come out with memories and a little bit of knowledge that will go a long way on the next trip. I felt a connection to the land, I developed a deeper appreciation for the animal I was hunting, and I learned about myself along the way. That's what hunting is all about, and I can't wait to go again.